What is going on, Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So I think in the past, Lucid's really shown us that you can't really time investing in it, that basically good news will come out when it wants. So I want to go over some things that might be coming in the short term that definitely investors can benefit from. But before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. With that said, let's get right to it. So first and foremost, this was tweeted by Motor Week. It does say that Lucid Air Dream Edition is here for testing and it's looking sharp so definitely that could mean that there's going to be more reviews and i know the dream edition they've ceased uh, as far as selling it and things like that but this is still technically very good pr or would result in good pr so i think this is going to be a very big thing and very good for lucid as another review never hurts because typically in the past though when we have received fairly good reviews whether it be an actual video from youtube or just a blog post or whatever it might be it does typically help the stock price so that's something Something you can always look forward to so again that's something that may be coming in the short term and so outside of this though there's also one thing that they brought up during the q2 earnings that showed a lot of highly anticipated uh, demand for and that is the gravity so this is a little bit more outdated this is lucid's first forecast but you can see right here the gravity when it was set to come out in 2023 it was supposed to do 12,000 vehicles for the overall year jump to 49 86 134,000 vehicles just of the gravity gravity alone so you can already see the huge anticipation and growth which far exceeds the air so I think this is going to be a huge thing for lucid going forward unfortunately they did push it back to 2024 but still when it comes to it though they did say in their actual earnings that they're trying to find a good way how to debut it because we all know this is going to be huge for lucid and they also do say the exact same point in their actual earnings as well so again that's going to be a very beneficial thing for lucid uh, going forward so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below when it comes down to it though unfortunately it is not listed as far as available reservation so as you can see the air pier how much you can actually or needed to be reserved for so $300 US air touring air grand touring and air sapphire so air sapphire is 25,000 USD in case you guys didn't know that it'll be very interesting in the q3 earnings to see as far as how many reservations come from the sapphire hopefully they do break that down for us and justify that uh, uh, kind of obscure move uh, to a very high priced vehicle but that aside though let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below there was a very good article that did come out that says everything that we know as of august 2022 about the gravity so it does talk on the price because as you can see right here air sapphire grand touring and so forth all the prices air pier is one of the most heavily reserved vehicles out there showing that there is a huge demand for a lower price vehicle so the fact that the air pier is roughly about eighty-seven thousand, but yet when it comes down to the gravity which in my opinion might be a little bit more favored over the pier but that's my own two cents on that keep in mind i'm not a financial advisor do your own due diligence at the end of the day at the very bottom here it does say that it is projected to be between 90 to 100 thousand so Going back to this, the fact that the air pier is 87,000, I think that's going to be a very good incentive for people to jump over to the gravity. Even in my case, obviously the pier, the touring are all very advantageous, look very sleek, but based on my lifestyle and what I have, the gravity is more advantageous. So I feel that a lot of people are in that same boat as obviously the middle class, the priority vehicle is a SUV. So I think right now that's going to be a very big thing going forward. But keep in mind though, I did find something very interesting about all the chassis for all of these vehicles especially i think it was brought up initially by the air sapphire so especially the sapphire it does have that tri motor but a lot of these actually have the capability of having four motors so if they really wanted to soup up any of these vehicles of course the price would go up pretty considerably they could do so so i think that's one of those things but based on what i read they don't do four motors because they don't it can't really handle it for right now based on the technology that they do have but still the capability is still there so i think that's going to be a very good thing going forward imagine having the gravity zero to 60 in one second that'd be absolutely insane amazing everyone would be speeding down to costco at the fastest they can but there's some good things that did come from this so roughly about uh, it is estimated to be 450 as far as a range so that's a pretty good acceptable range especially for the additional weight that's going to be placed on the vehicle and outside of that though as far as charging time it does say that it can do the typical what the air does so roughly about 20 minutes for 300 
mile. So I think that's going to be uh, overall a very big success for Lucid. And as you can even tell based on this, clearly there's going to be a huge dependence on this. Future models, which now that we know is that lower priced midsize SUV. So clearly that is going to blow everything out of the water. So as of right now, the priority should be the pure gravity and then going forward that lower priced midsize SUV. You can even tell based on that aspect, it is projected to do 8,000 vehicles of that uh, lower priced vehicle in 2025. And then that jumps to 75. So that far outpaces absolutely anything. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. And I do believe based on this actual report when this was done, um, they really sped up the production at the amp facility. So I think that's going to be a very big thing going forward. And of course, this doesn't include any Saudi factory at all, uh, especially it shows only 135,000 in 2025. So that's something just to factor in. One thing that this article did say is that they might actually have the gravity launch from the Saudi factory. So I think that really threw me off. I didn't know anything about that but keep in mind i don't know the credibility of this especially when it comes down to the gravity there's not much information and you can't really fact check so again this is why this video is only for entertainment purposes so make sure you guys do your own due diligence at the end of the day don't blindly trust me whatsoever even though i am a very trusting individual but that aside though i think this is going to be a very good time and especially when they do actually launch or decide to debut the reservations for the gravity i think this is going to really appreciate the price so it goes back to my point yes you can't really necessarily time the bottom or anything like that but when it comes down to lucid i am still rather to be in it than not because when you always try and time the market you always miss out on the bigger rally because in for instance picture wise right now a lot of people if they are waiting for ten dollars or they think ten dollars is coming they might have missed out on this nice little bounce over the last couple days a similar kind of concept right even more so just looking on the actual chart every single rally i guarantee there's people that when we went to roughly about $13 here, they were waiting for 10. So they missed out on this rally and similar action right here. I'm sure a lot of people during this downtrend were waiting for 13. Well, guess what? 13 didn't come. So they missed out on this whole rally on getting in. So it's one of those things that you can't always time the bottom. Sometimes Lucid just does what it wants. It goes up when it wants. And I do feel that long term, I think the risk averse reward is definitely there. I know a lot of bears will always say about production and crap like that. But I think long term, we're going to be golden with this investment so this is why i'm still holding and still going to be diamond handing doing my options so if you also don't know options highly suggest in researching them they are very beneficial especially for a long-term hold such as lucid but with all that hopefully everyone is having an amazing weekend and with that i appreciate you guys watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe it helps push out a lot of lucid content into the greater youtube world so that's always greatly appreciated in doing that but with that i appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.